Hello, this is Justin Seven with Sportsbook Review. This week I got a really good question from On The What. He asks, I was calculating the edge for Wong teaser plays, and since 1985, NFL Wong teasers crossing the 3 and the 7 have won 75% of the time. Is this the correct way to calculate your edge for an NFL 3-team teaser? On The What takes .75 raised to the third to figure out the odds of winning a teaser, which is 42.1%. Uh, he gets an edge of 15%. I'm not quite sure I agree with that. I think it's a tad higher than that. Um, to figure out the edge, take point, point 0.421 times 1.8 and subtract the percentage of losing at 0.579. Now his next question, uh, once he concludes that the higher numbered teasers have better payouts, he then asks, so if I have six Kelly teams and I'm playing all three teamers, since your edge is much larger on three-teamers, would you advise getting more money down on three-teamers rather than messing around with two-teamers? Or would you never play four-teamers? Now, while it's true that the higher teamed teasers have better edges, that is, a four-team teaser at 300 is better than a three-team at 180 as far as your expected value, your volatility goes up a lot also. I'm going to show you an example to demonstrate this. Imagine you could have a one-team teaser what would the fair odds of a one-team teaser be? If the odds on a two-team teaser pay even money, uh, the way you'd figure out the odds on a one-team teaser would you just look at this two-team as a two-team parlay. So if you, you parlay the same odds twice and you get even money, what uh, probability would make it work out perfectly if you had a two-team parlay? And it works out to be 0 0.707, which is roughly a minus 241. So if you parlay two teams that are minus 241, it'll pay even money. And that's basically what a two-team teaser is. So what would happen if you had you could play a one-team teaser at minus 241 that would win 75% of the time? What would your EV be and what would your uh, Kelly size be? If the market price for a one-team six-point teaser is minus 241, that pays decimal odds of 1.415. Your EV is going to simply be 75% times 0.415 minus 0.25, which is when you lose, gives you an EV of 6.1%. In this case, the odds payout is 0.415, which is simply your decimal odds minus 1. And your Kelly optimal bet size would then be f risking 14.8% of your money on this play. So your advantage on a one-team teaser is 6.1%. What's your advantage on a two-team teaser? This one's a lot easier to figure out. So how do you compare a two-team teaser versus a three or four or higher team teaser? You're going to do the same thing you've done here. You're going to look at the break even. But I'm going to save you some work. If you're a regular player, if you have a, a finite bankroll, you're almost always going to be better off betting two-team teasers than three or four teamers. In fact, you might even be better off pay, playing two teamers at minus 110 than you are a four-teamer at even money. Uh, just because you'll be able to risk a lot higher amount of your money from a Kelly Criterion point of view. Now, the other extreme is you're a big player. You don't care. Uh, I mean, limits are irrelevant to you. That is, you're going to bet as much as the book will let you. In this case, if, if you can only bet, say, you have the choice between betting six teamers or five teamers or four teamers or whatever, you're going to want to bet the amount that lets you get the, the most volume down. And this will often be some combination of you know six teamers, four teamers, three teamers. You'll end up round robbing them all. Uh, if you do this a lot, though, books are going to throw you out. Uh, Pinnacle will close your account or not allow you to play them. Bookmaker will lower your odds. Olympic will or Greek will lower your pay. Oh, sorry, they'll lower your limits to hundred dollars a teaser. So just be prepared. Uh, you know, no books want you to kick their butts on teasers. All right, how do you do risk management when it gets really complicated? Let's say in week nine of the NFL, you have 11 teaser teams that you want to play. Uh, one approach I would use is you start off estimating your optimal Kelly amount you want at risk on each team. If you're playing two teamers at even money um, with a 6.1 edge at full Kelly, you'd want roughly 6% of your capital at risk on teasers involving that team. Uh, I would never use full Kelly anything. So let's let's go with half Kelly, so 3%. So if you have, let's say you have 11 teams, uh, you're going to have up to 11 times 3, 33% of your capital at risk on two teamers. Now if you have, you know, 11 teams, there are 11 
choose two, which is 11 times 10 divided by two, 55 possible teasers that you could do with 11 teams. So if you're going to risk 33% uh, of your capital on 55 teams, you put about two-thirds of a percent of your bankroll on each of those 55 teams. If you wanted to play a higher number of teams, say you wanted to do all four teamers, uh, you'd start off with that same approach. Since 14 teasers pay three to one, I'd start with a base of you know, 33% of your bankroll, but then I'd divide that by three. So you'd only risk 11% of your capital instead of 33%, and you'd split that up among 11 choose four teasers. Now I realize this is, these are not just theoretical questions. There are teasers all year long on NFL. And anytime you cross a three and the seven, you have the best of it, and you should be looking for ways to bet as much as you can on them, um, but that can be hard. Uh, there's a different strategy for preseason. Using long teasers uh, will not necessarily work as well. You have to adjust it for preseason. Um, but anyone who wants to make money should take a long, hard look at all sorts of teasers. That's all for now. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email, justin at sportsbookreview.com.